picture I pulled from the Desmos online graphing calculator. I've graphed the function f of x equal 2 e to the minus x, which is this curve right here. The boundaries y equal 2, which is this blue line, and x equals 6. And we're rotating that this region, the purple region, about the line y equals 4. So this looks like a problem that's conducive to using the washer method. Uh, just I've mentioned the formula up here when you're using the washer method. It's uh, a definite integral from wherever to wherever uh, of outer radius squared minus inner radius squared. So the outer radius, a typical outer radius, would be this distance right here from the axis of revolution to the outer portion of the region that's being revolved. Now, how do you represent that distance? Well, for this value x right here, this distance right here is f of x, or 2e to the minus x. So I want to subtract that from 4, or top minus bottom will give you the uh, outer radius. And that's what this is right here. Let me go to red. This is the outer radius squared. The inner radius is just going from the axis of revolution to the inside region. And that distance is 4 minus 2, or 2, the inner radius squared. Now, on Desmos, I was able to uh, enter V sub W for the washer method, pi from 0 to 6, because we're creating shells along the x-axis. These are typical shells. By integrating along the x-axis, we're creating infinitely many shells. Um, and they all fit the pattern. 4 minus 2 e to the minus x quantity squared minus 4. Uh, and it looks like that volume gave us 182.33. Uh, so here's what I did by hand. I squared this binomial, subtracting the 4, gave us this 12 right here. 16 minus 4 gave us this 12. And then I found the antiderivative for each term. Antiderivative of 12 is 12x. The antiderivative of minus 16 e to the minus x is plus 16 e to the minus x. And a 4e to the minus 2x, it's minus 2e to the minus 2x. Uh, and we want to evaluate that from 0 to 6. So I put 6 in the antiderivative. Uh, and I wrote these with positive exponents on e. And minus, put 0 in for x, 12x becomes 0. The 16 in the minus 2 become a 14, so I have to subtract 14 from this 72. Finally, I get pi times 58 plus 16 over e to the sixth minus 2 over e to the twelfth. Now, of course, you could combine those all into one fraction by getting a common denominator of e to the twelfth and then uh, multiplying pi times that numerator. But this sort of proves that by doing this by hand results in the same decimal value. Okay, so I think we'll stop there. And I am going to include in my answer a link to the Desmos graph that was used to create this picture, just in case you want to take a look. Okay, there you go. Thank you.